Hey you guys, Tamara here, and let's talk about my top five authors that I'd like to meet. Lainey from Ginger Read Books, I'll leave her link down below, made this top five Wednesday tag where we do different tags each Wednesday, or in my case, Thursday. So this week's tag is top five authors that we would like to meet and in person and I thought this would be fitting for my Thursday video because each of the authors that I'm going to mention are people that I'd like to meet so I can pick their brains about their writing because they have influenced my writing so much and I'm going to do this in no particular order. One person on the list would be Janet Ivanovich. She does the Stephanie Plum series and I really enjoy her writing. It's It has that chick lit slash crime thing going on and it's always funny her characters are relatable and she's really consistent with her writing which is pretty amazing i watched a, an interview of hers where she was talking about her um her writing schedule and pretty much she doesn't stop it's like she's a crazy machine a writing machine and she has her own math magician at home. Her husband is has his doctorate in math and my partner, he is working on his doctorate. So I feel like we'd have something we could talk about. Another person who I would like to meet would be um, Saul Williams. He is a spoken word poet and a musician and an actor. He influenced me to kind of step out and do mo more poetry and do spoken word. His work is really interesting and creative and outside the box. I share a lot of his political viewpoints. I think that we could have a very interesting discussion. Stephen King has to be on my list. Number one, On Writing is one of my favorite books about writing. He's been one of my favorite authors since I was a kid and I read um, the first book in the Dark Tower series. That was my first introduction to Stephen King and the next book was Carrie and after that I was hooked. Another author I would love to meet but won't be able to because she's gone is Maya Angelou. I remember reading I know why the cage bird sings in high school. It touched me in a profound way. I don't even have questions that I would like to ask her. I would just want her to just talk to me, give me some wisdom. I'll sit and listen. The last person on the list of people, I would, of authors I would like to meet. And when I say meet, I don't want to just do a meet and greet where you get a selfie and you shake a hand and they sign a book and then you pat you on the back you're on your way. I want to sit down and have a coffee and like have time where we can chat and jive. So the last author who would be on my list is Neil Gaiman. He is writing blooms of my mind. It He is so good had drawing this skewed dark world for you to explore and making interesting worlds and rich characters and I, I don't know I think that he's probably a really interesting person to chat with and I mean married Amanda Palmer and I'm sure she whoa that would be cool that would be an excellent coffee. Okay, so Neil Gaiman, and then he could bring his wife. I have three things to talk to you about, things that I find extremely exciting. Let's just dive into that. You probably already know, but in case you don't, each week, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I host Write Stuff on Twitter. And Write Stuff is a tweet chat where writers talk about writing. Each week we talk about a different subject. This upcoming Tuesday, the 27th, we're gonna be doing a Google Hangout. If you follow me on Twitter, or if you're subscribed to me here, then you'll know I'll be putting out the link, and I'm sure folks that will be chatting with me will be doing the same, and 
we're just gonna talk about the different topics that we covered this month, which would be, um, you know, our 2015 goals, critique groups, and beta groups, and then anything else that pops up that's writing related and probably coffee and wine related because I don't know, this writers seem to talk about coffee and wine a lot. I hope that you can come and hang out with us. We're gonna do it at the same time, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then for people who don't want to participate in the Google Hangout, you can still go to Twitter and I'll probably have some pre-scheduled tweets of some sort. Tweet as questions, or which I think the hashtag will be hashtag write stuff Google Hangout GHL. So hashtag write stuff GHL. So it won't be confused with the tweet, the regular regular weekly tweet chat. These are words I'm having a hard time saying. I'm very sorry. So that's going to happen. The second thing I want to talk to you about is um this really awesome global movement that I would love you to be a part of and it's called 1000 Voices for Compassion. This is where we as a thousand bloggers and vloggers and writers and just people all over the world on February 20th will be kind of releasing at the same time posts and videos and pictorials and whatever about and related to compassion. Sometimes it feels as though you can't affect any type of change. That as one person, your voice will get lost in the minutia. But if you're one voice part of a thousand voices, think of how loud that is. I'll put links in the downstairs so that you can check that out as well. The hashtag that we're using is hashtag 1000 speak and if you you know follow that on Twitter then you'll see a lot of the different posts that are popping up and it's just I don't know it's just really it's really inspiring and I'm working on a project for that which is just very exciting and I'll be releasing that on this channel next week so stay tuned for that so the third thing is I am revealing my cover art for my first in the five or six part series of short stories that I'm going to be releasing and I'm very nervous but I would love for you guys to check it out if you follow my Facebook facebook.com slash Tamara was the writer I will be releasing the cover there tomorrow and if you don't see this until a day other than um, Friday the tomorrow date then that's okay because it will still be somewhere on my Facebook author page. This series is called Just One. So the first of the series is Just One Night. It's about Benice, this spy slash man-eater who is, who in the first part of the series gets caught in her own web. So I would love for you guys to check it out. It's a romance with a little bit of an edge to it but it's just all for fun because sometimes I just need to write something that's just a fun thing to do so if you're looking for something that's a little heavier or has a message you won't find it there that's just it's just a good time that is it that's all the things I have to say to you I'm so glad that you stopped by thank you from my heart to yours Again, my name is Tamara, and this is where I live a couple times a week. I hope you could stop by again, and if you liked it, please click like, and by all means share it, and subscribe if you haven't, because I have things to say about the writing and the book world, because that's, I love those worlds. And I will see you next time. Bye.